Frankie, welcome to the team, welcome to Bamberg, to Freak City. Um, you're our latest addition to the team, you arrived on Tuesday. How are you? How tired are you? Very tired, probably, as you can see on the look of my face. Um, but first impressions have been awesome. Um, I've really enjoyed meeting all the guys and the staff and coach and seeing a little bit of the city and moving in the apartment. And uh, I know the next couple of days will be a little crazy, but once I get settled, I'm really looking forward to it. So. What we usually ask the players is what we have to know about them, who they are. Um, for you, we got kind of a special thing. Um, we have someone else talking about you. You probably, I hope, um, will recognize him. Okay. Frankie's a good guy. He's a hard worker. I think he's going to fit in really well there in Freak City. And I think you guys are going to be really happy to have him. Uh, Frankie and I played together for, for a little bit when we were in Monresa. Um, he's, a, he's a playmaker. He's always in attack mode. He's working really hard, uh, brings a lot of energy uh, during the game and on the bench. Um, so I think Freak City's really going to like him. Some good, good words from, <laughs> from my buddy. Some good words. Your buddy, um, mm -hmm. is there anything you'd like to add? No, I think he kind of touched it. Um, try to be as, as positive and, and enthusiastic as possible every day. Um, obviously, it's a long season. There could be some ups and downs, but... Um, just respect everyone and, and be a good teammate and contribute to winning and have a good attitude and I think the rest kind of takes care of itself. Um, before we get to the, let's say, sports side of things, um, we kind of have to talk about your name real quick. Okay. Um, the San Francisco Examina once called you the owner of the best name in college hoops and our league, the, the German BBL. They just said the other day um, that the title for the league's best name is ready to be handed out to you. So maybe tell us about your roots, about your parents' roots, because I think there's maybe some Italian to it. Yeah, so both my parents are Italian. Um, obviously, you can tell with the last name Ferrari. Um, my real name is Franco, but nobody really calls me Franco, uh, aside from my mom. Um, and Frankie, a lot of Frank Sinatra references when I was a little kid. And um, obviously, it's got a little rhyme to it, Frankie Ferrari. And, you know, since I was young, I've gotten the, the comments on the name and As long as I can live up to it and, and contribute on the court and it sounds cool, I'm good with it. So Okay. Um, there was also another article, this time on the San Francisco Foghorn. I think it's the, the newspaper of the university you went to. Um, they titled, Meet Frankie Ferrari, the hardest working player in the country, which I think you also had in your Twitter account, I think, for a while. Okay. Um, tell us about that attitude. Are you the, the hardest working in the country? Well, you? <laughs> maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but... Uh, you know, you, you have to work hard to kind of get to this level and, and especially taking steps forward um, after you get to a professional level. But ever since I was young, you know, I've kind of prided myself on hard work and, you know, I'm not the biggest, strongest, fastest guy. And so that's what it took to get here. And I'm uh, going to continue to work hard and, and contribute and, and try to advance my game and, and help other people as well. So um, Advancing your game, of course, you had to do that throughout high school, throughout college, um, now being a pro basketball player, I think... I think uh, things weren't always like that. You were also an Uber driver at some point. Yeah. So uh, after my first year of college, um, I transferred from the University of San Francisco, the same school that I graduated from, and was at a junior college nearby by my house and kind of just sat out that year to save a year of eligibility and just took classes and kind of worked and, and coached basketball and like played in adult leagues. But it was a fun year in terms of just having some freedom. Um, but yeah, for fun, I would like on a weekend with a couple of buddies drive Uber um, and kind of somebody got wind of that in college and made it a big deal um, and set it on like an ESPN broadcast and it kind of blew up from there. But yeah, I guess I, you could say I was a part-time Uber driver. Okay. Um, we had Omar Pruitt here too. Um, he told us to sit, that his, his mother played a big role in him um, getting to play basketball. In your case, was it maybe your father who I think was your high school coach at yeah. one point or yeah. maybe even your older brother? Yeah, so uh, basketball is like really, really deep in our family. Um, my dad coached at the local high school where I went Burlingame for 25 years, and then he coached me my first year and then ultimately retired and had also coached me in AAU summer ball and, and growing up. And then uh, my brother coached me in college, and he's still at the University of San Francisco. And, and my, my younger brother also played in college. So uh, yeah, it's, it's deep in our family. My mom could play too, but she doesn't get the limelight that she deserves. Um, she'll, she'll like that I said that. Um, but yeah, no, we love basketball and, and are a sports-oriented family. And um, yeah, we take it as far as we can. Sounds really good. Um, you mentioned your college career already. Um, there was some some transferring between schools. Why was that? How did your career go in college? Yeah, so it was a it was a it was a bumpy road, I would say. Um, but I think that's kind of a representation on life that everything's smooth and kind of how you react to adversity. And after my first year, like I said, I transferred. 
Um, I was at the junior college and looking at other Division One schools really didn't have USF in mind at all. And then they made a coaching change and the new coach that came had recruited me in high school. He was at Columbia and he called me and said, we'd love to have you back. You know, what, would you re-sign a scholarship? And that was my hometown school. Um, like I was a ball boy there when I was a kid. So it was a no brainer for me. And, and uh, when I went back, I kind of caught my stride and, and the rest is kind of history. So the rest of this history so far is that I think you tried summer league, of course. Um, then went to, to Manresa to, to play with David Krebs, for example. How was your pro career so far? It's been a little bit of a bumpy road as well, um, just with injuries and stuff. And last year, moving to a couple teams. But uh, I, again, that's kind of how life works. And, and, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, responding from a little bit of adversity. Uh, but I did, I did, you know, enjoy the, the Spanish league, the ACB, and met a ton of great people and great teammates. And, enjoy great cities and I think this is just another opportunity to, to get better so how's this response gonna look like what are your goals here and what can the fans freak city expect from you yeah I wouldn't sit here and make like lofty expectations I think each day I, I try to approach it day by day now and, and try to be like I said a great teammate and get better every day and let the rest take care of it I think the fans will see a, a playmaker um, somebody that really has a lot of enthusiasm on the court and feeds off the crowd which was something that really hurt me last year um, so I'm excited to to put on my best performance for them and and share you know share the ball with my teammates and and ultimately win games. So, you kind of like the atmosphere. Then have you heard anything about Freak City about I have. the arena here? Yeah, yeah. Um, even in college, I, I knew about it. Um, okay. Elias Harris played at Gonzaga, uh -huh. and I had followed him throughout his career, yeah. and kind of was always interested in, in the in the big time atmospheres and European basketball, Panathinaikos, and. Partisans and Bros Bamberg and even in Manresa we had a great um, fan base and something that I really feed off of so I'm really looking forward to Freak City in the, in the stadium. We are looking forward to you on the court. Thank you for your time and have a great season. Thank here. you.